Thank God it's Tuesday. I hope you can hear me over the sound of the rushing water, or in this case, the waves. I'm in uh, Redondo Beach, it's 59 degrees. It's the 10th of January. There has been no snowfall in New York so far this year. So everybody's a little bit uh, excited or unexcited about that. No snow back east, up north so far. So we've got a break in the action. If you can see the beautiful sky, if you see the beautiful sky, we've got a break in the action of these uh, 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 bomb cyclones, these, uh, uh, these rivers of water. Uh, so I thought I'd just show you a quick glance at the ocean. I want to apologize too. I'm having trouble. My internet is horrible. I don't know what's going on, but it's taking me days to upload uh, each video presentation. I've got one on in the in the uh, in the phone, still loading from a, a rainstorm the other evening. So let's just go over some items of interest for this day, January 10th. In 1901, the first major oil field was discovered or uh, came into being in Texas, 1901, the first major oil field, and thus Texas oil boom began. 1920, the League of Nations uh, was established. The League of Nations. You'll have to figure out that on your own. I know it has to do with uh, nations, uh, maybe it was a baseball team they started or a little league team. I'm not sure, but the uh, 1920, the League of Nations. 1946, the first United Nations General Assembly uh, met in London. Uh, the first uh, United Nations General Assembly met in London. 1946 and also in 1946 radar signals were bouncing off the moon uh, it was detected uh, radio waves R radar signals radar signals bouncing off the moon was detected for the first time Wow, that's really something else. I'm glad they detected radar uh, bouncing off the moon for the first time in 1946. Happy birthday. Uh, 1999 was the first Sopranos episode on HBO, also known as Home Box Office. The first Sopranos episode. 1999 for all you Soprano fans. Happy birthday to uh, George Foreman. 1949. 74 years young. And happy birthday to Rod Stewart. 1945. 78 years young. So that's that. Uh, and here is the beautiful sunset. It's already set. It's behind the clouds. I believe it's low tide now. The next high tide, I believe, is going to be at 10 p.m. But it's a balmy 59 degrees. This is the famous Tony's on the Pier restaurant and cocktail lounge. So there it is. Let's move it around. I thought I was going to make a short video, and I think I will. Let's move it around. Now, I also figured out why people are uh, so... Uh, uh, 
I, 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 I kind of figure it out now why people are very, very upset uh, when they see somebody with a cell phone. Uh, here's the Redondo Beach Pier. Uh, what's going on is I see a lot on social media. I see uh, uh, people uh, uh, punking. I think they call it punking or, uh, you know, doing s stuff that people don't want to be done to them. And uh, so everybody's on high alert. They see somebody with a phone and they just, they demand that the phone be shut off or erased. I saw a guy walking on the beach and he wanted it erased. So I don't know what the reason is. They say the reason is, uh, there's some people over there. The reason is uh, they don't want their images on the World Wide Web and it's forever. Yeah, it might be forever, but you're not forever. So at the end of the day, why would you care? Uh-huh. You see my point? Your images are going to be on the Internet or the World Wide Web all over the world forever. But you're not going to be here forever. <coughs> Excuse me, that's not COVID. So why would you care? Uh, anyway, people are really upset about that. And they are just, they're just going crazy. This is the uh, uh, Redondo Beach here and then off in the distance. Uh, Palace Verdes. Next stop, China. Some of the residents should walk past there. I've walked there, I, I haven't walked there the whole way. Maybe we'll do that now. And uh, we're just walking around. But that's the reason, I think. So I was a little bit out to lunch. I, I see them on the social media. I see them on my 12, uh, iPhone 12 Max Pro. People are bothering people that came on. People are punking people and throwing things at them and then filming their reactions, mostly negative reactions sometimes uh, violent reactions and people just don't want for some reason they're not in the entertainment field and for all intents and purposes they're they're void of any notoriety in their life they're not in uh, the movies or the television <coughs> yet they're very very concerned about their image so that's I guess is what I don't understand I mean, if you're walking on the beach and somebody's filming you, and sometimes they're not filming them on purpose, they're just in the view, you know? They're just in the view. I kind of like it when there's no people around. This, we could be in Florida right now. This could be Florida. Well, Florida and California, they have the... Southern California, they have the kind of the same... Uh, oh, this is where you get your oysters, see? And pick your pearls. Hello, sir. It's okay. It's okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Yay. I always like to ask first because Yay. people are very upset today with this. Pearl oysters from Japan. Wow. These are the saltwater Japanese Akoya pearls. Yes. So five years it took to create each pearl. These are raised on our company's farm in Shima, Japan. Shima, now, Shima. where is that in relation to Tokyo? South. More south, south of uh, yeah. Tokyo. Yes, yeah. so this company, Kobe Pearl, they're the actual farmers out there. 52 years now. 52 years they've been doing this. So everyone has at least one pearl. And uh, perhaps there are some black pearls in there? One of five colors. Yeah, five different colors. Uh, the... Uh, uh, 
Dubai used to be into the pearl business. Yeah, I, yeah probably but, a lot of But Japan came along and really uh, pumped right. it up. Right. And then fortunately they found the oil business, so that's what <laughs> took over. But yeah. Yeah. but yeah, these are still the saltwater Japanese sequoias. Wow. Yeah. And how much would it be for somebody to try it? To uh, try it? It's an oyster, $13.70. Wow. Yeah. You want to... She's not here. <laughs> All right, on the way back. Thank yes, you for sir. your help. Yes, Thank sir. you. So that's why I have to ask first. Uh, because seemingly uh, unknowable people still are protecting uh, uh, protecting their image or their, their life or something. I don't know. If I'm walking along, minding my own business, and somebody wants to, or I get in the frame by accident, or somebody takes my picture, you know, what the heck do I care? But for some reason, and this is somebody, you could help me in the comments, Maybe somebody can tell me, and I don't know when this video is going to upload, to tell you frankly, because of the trouble that I'm having with Wi-Fi and all sorts of stuff. I'm at like 80% of a, of a video that I started uploading, I don't know, three or four days ago. So if you want to know why there's such a lapse between presentations, that is the reason. So if you're just joining us, we're here in Redondo Beach, the Redondo Beach Pier. And we're just gonna walk a little bit until, uh, until we don't wanna walk anymore, I guess, until it gets to maybe 30 minutes. Some people like a little bit of extended videos. So, uh, I say. Yeah, so that's the story. That's the update. If you can let me know in the comments why people who have no reason to hide their existence are so terribly shy and terribly angry when they become the subject of an innocent video. You know, what what is the human condition that makes somebody... I mean, are they ashamed of their image? Are they ashamed of themselves? Are they ashamed of their weight? Uh, now, I'm not talking when somebody's acting silly with the camera. I'm just saying when somebody's just, just, what are they ashamed of? What are they trying to hide? If you're only gonna be on this earth for a short time, why would you wanna hide? There'll be plenty of time to hide. as it gets a little bit darker here. So, uh, if you're watching this from around the world in different locations, we had a terrible incident where a first grader uh, fire uh, used a firearm on a teacher. And uh, I don't know, as a first grader, I was pretty angry too. I tell you why, the teacher called my name in first grade in Catholic school and I got all excited. They called my name and I was ready to respond and there wasn't me at all. It was another gentleman in the same classroom in first grade with the same Brian as the first name. And then I knew it was over. I just knew it was over. It was over. In first grade, I knew it was over. I said, you gotta be kidding me. She calls my name and it's not me. It's another clown in the classroom with the, first, first, the same first name. And then I knew it was downhill from there. You know, or uphill or whatever it is. It was just, it was a, it was a traumatic. And of course I didn't go to preschool. So I had a lot of reasons to be angry. It was like going to Harvard University. It was like going to USC in first grade. I said, how do these kids get so smart? How do they know all this, 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 these workbooks and all this nonsense? I didn't know anything. 
I knew how to go to mass with my mom at 9 a.m. every morning and then go to Dunkin' Donuts and try to convince her to get me a jelly donut. I mean, you, you make me sit through a mass every morning at 9 a.m. You think you could get me a jelly donut after mass? You know? So I'm gonna go around here because you just have to be very careful. Just, you know, I don't want any problems with people. They're just, they're wound up tight. They're just wound up tight. You probably have a lot of friends, even you have, maybe you have some family members that are just wound up tight. And uh, you don't want to get in the face of anybody, especially with a camera, that are wound up tight. And they're out here. They're everywhere. That was a dominant pincher. Now, how are we gonna go over here? We're just gonna walk along here. We got 15 minutes. So they can't put this kid in jail because he's only a first grader. I think he's six years old or some nonsense. So I don't know what they're gonna do with this kid. I told my friend on the phone they should just take him to Camp Lejeune, tell him not to drink the water, don't shower with the water. Uh, don't use it to cook anything. Don't, you know, use bottled water, but take them to Camp Lejeune in North Carolina or wherever it is. And, uh, and let him stay on the base with the Marines uh, until he's 18 and then put him in the Marines and let him join the Marines, make him join the Marines. And, and uh, I guess... Uh, you know, and then he can be a Marine and he can he can shoot all the people he wants. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, uh, just a terrible story, but I think the teacher's gonna be okay. But I doubt she'll gonna go back to the, uh, these are the ready, we've been, we've been on, on this walk before. But I'm gonna focus on the ocean as the sun starts to rise on the other side of the planet. I mean, what are they gonna do with the guy? He's six years old. I mean, uh, so uh, put him on the base with the Marines and uh, make him a Marine, put him in the Marines, put him in the military. And uh, I don't know what the answer is. But, uh, you know, uh, so that was a big problem. And the, uh, the football player is fine. And I'm glad he's fine. And I bet that hospital in Cincinnati was just like, get his heart going again. Get it going again. Keep it going. And let's get him out of here. Send him back to Buffalo. We don't want that heart stopping again. I think it stopped twice, once on the field, and then the, I think again, if I'm not mistaken, and they were probably saying, we gotta keep this guy, keep this heart going. And we don't know what's wrong with his heart, but it seems to stop a few times here. We gotta get his heart going, stabilize him, and get him the heck out of this hospital and ship him back to Buffalo, because if his heart stops again, you know, you, 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 you know, you, you know that's what the uh, hospital administrations are talking about and saying. You know? I mean, uh, the heart is a tricky thing. You can have all the brain problems you want, but as long as your heart's going, you're fine. Like myself, you know? My heart's real strong. It doesn't matter what the brain is doing. So anyway, so that was good that he's okay. And uh, I guess it's summer down in South Africa now. So if you're down in South Africa, it must be nice. You're enjoying your summer. So let's go over the items of interest and close it out. Uh, just about 20 minutes, it'll be over 20 minutes by the time I stop talking. Uh, look at those bicycles with their wheels. Just bring money, just bring money. I want my wheels on my bicycle to light up at night. Front or the back? I want both. Same color or different colors? 
same colors. So uh, the first oil rig in Texas, where is it? I'm not gonna be able to read it. There's no light here. First, uh, uh, they struck oil in a big way. Here it is. Let me get it out here. 1901, the first major oil field in the state of Texas uh, was begun. 1920, the League of Nations was established. And that was a little league baseball team making up most of your European countries, some Southeast Asian countries, Australia and Bangladesh. Oh, there's some surface there. Wow, all right, maybe we'll get some. Yeah, they'll, they'll keep going. They got some light ready to go. And uh, 1946, the first General Assembly of the United Nations met in London, 1946. Also in 1946, what else happened in 1946? What? Uh, oh, radar. Radar was detected bouncing off the moon in 1946. Let me call that clown who talks about space all the time. Oh, what a great, there's radar bouncing off the moon. I bet there's a lot of radar bouncing off a lot of places. The solar system, hello. You know, not surprising. If somebody told me there's radar been detected bouncing off the moon, I would say, great. Now, what are we going to have for lunch? Uh, happy birthday to Rod Stewart. Oh, The Sopranos, 1999, the first episode of The Sopranos, one of the most uh, successful television programs for HBO and uh, they've been trying to find their footing ever since but that's what happens sometimes it's hard to top something that can't be topped people are doing that or trying that their whole lives trying to top themselves sometimes it's just uh, there's only one you know there can only be one great one there can't be oh three or four great ones or great episodes or great experiences or great uh, awards or great accolades or great wars or good you go know, this has got to be one and people are trying to top that one and uh, doesn't always work as uh, as uh, HBO can uh, testify to and happy birthday to Rod Stewart 19 when was this clown born uh, 1945, Rod Stewart, still shaking his ass. Can you believe it? Does he like doing it? Does he like crowds? Or does he need the money? You'll have to ask him. And, uh, and happy birthday to George Foreman, 1949, 74, I think it is, or something. Anyway, I'm gonna close it out here and just see if we can get some views of the surface. And, uh, you gotta watch your step. You don't wanna step in feces. It's a popular place to walk your dog. He's up, he's up, he's moving, he's hang tenant, and he's got it, beautiful. Here's the jetty. Oh, it's relatively calm. Uh, 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 like I said, I don't believe it's high tide. So it looks like we got four surfaces in the water. And it looks like they may be coming out now. And there's Palos Verdes all lit up on the peninsula. Just bring money. Just bring money. I want to live in the Palace Verdes with an unobstructed view of the Pacific hanging on the side of the cliff or the hillside. And I want it now. Just bring money.
Yep, they're all out of the water now. Looks like we've got three. There's the other one. Oh, there's the other one over there. So all accounted for safely out of the water. Is there another one out there? I don't believe so. All right, I'm gonna cut it out here. Like I said, today's the 10th. Uh, so you'll see when you see this on the 10th, you'll see that it was, uh, well, I can't upload this till the other one uploads. That one's not uploaded yet. But you can see this was on the 10th. And when you see it, I would sure wish I could have better internet service, but it's the infrastructure. They don't want to upgrade the infrastructure because they can't make any money upgrading the infrastructure. And each company slices out a property or a piece of territory, and then that's the only service that you can get in your given area. So uh, it is what it is, I guess. And then you make, uh, you have to make, make it uh, what it is. All right, I'm going to close it. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday evening. Whatever day this comes up and you see it.